A seven-year-old boy in Berkeley was hit by a car while out trick-or-treating last night, and according to police, the driver fled the scene before officers could arrive. It happened just east of San Pablo Avenue on Derby Street, and that's where Crown Force Rob Nesbitt has reaction now from neighbors. Residents who were here when the little boy was hit by the car told me they tried to get the driver to stop but were unsuccessful. They're hoping the city will do more to make pedestrians feel safer. Derby Street in Berkeley seemed rather calm Wednesday, but on Halloween it was taken over by trick-or-treaters. One of them, a seven-year-old boy, was hit by a car while crossing the street with several other children, according to police. This resident named Shelby did not want to share her last name, but described what the scene was like. Everyone was in distress. Um, there was a lot of yelling, and there was just candy on the ground. Um, it was a lot because there was a car fleeing from the scene, and... Uh, people were trying to get the person to stop, and the car kept going. The boy was taken to the hospital, where he was treated for cuts, scrapes, and a broken leg. While he recovers, those who live in this neighborhood want drivers to pay better attention to the signs in the area and their messages. Definitely be aware, especially on days like Halloween in general. Anytime they get in their car, they need to be aware of their surroundings. Um, just as well as people, but especially drivers, they're operating heavy machinery. She'd also like to see the city install speed bumps in the areas like Derby Street to force drivers to slow down. Mayur Srinivasan walks the neighborhood with his dog daily. When he heard about the Halloween hit and run, his first thought was the need for more street lighting to make pedestrians more visible to drivers. I see lighting as an issue, but then beyond that, I think it's also a lot on, on the drivers to just be a little cognizant of the fact that these streets are, one, they're windy, they're narrow, I mean, there are a lot of kids, there are a lot of dogs. Police are still looking for the car responsible, describing it as a dark sedan. Anyone with information about the hit and run is asked to contact the Berkeley Police Department. Reporting in Berkeley, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.